Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I am going to talk about a very specific technique. Can I customize the output message format of the verification activities? So by default, you might have already seen when you run the test case for the verification activity, this is how it appears. Verification passed, the expression output, whatever expression you have returned is equal to true. So this is how it is appearing. Now, is it possible to customize it? Now, if it is possible to customize, is there any drawback? All the things we are going to discuss in this single topic. So why delay? Let's get started. And don't miss out to subscribe to my channel. Go to my channel homepage and click on the subscribe button beside the logo. And also you can click on the inverted triangle and click on this notification icons to stay updated. Now let's understand how to really achieve that. Let me show you. This is my given section, when section where I'm calling the workflow. And here is the then section. Inside this, I have written the verify expression activity. Now, how do you get a customized message? I do not want to see this kind of output. This is the default way of showing the output for the activity. It automatically comes. Now, how do I customize it as per based on my need? Let me show you. This customization can be done directly on the property panel. There is something called output message format in the same way. Or else, let's say you might be using multiple verification activities in your workflow. So what do you want? You wanted to apply in the project label so that it gets globally applied to any activity that you are going to drag and drop. So it's better to get into the project settings and make the settings over there so that any activity that you are going to drag and drop the verification activity, it will it'll get applied to all of them. OK, for that, click on projects, click on project settings, click on testing, click on verify activities. Remember, there are four different verify activities in test automation. One is verify expression, verify expression with operator, verify control attribute, verify range. Till now, we have learned the verify expression. I'm going to apply this technique to the verify expression. Now for this, there is a simple explanation, explanation written here. Now this explanation you will clearly understand post this demo. First thing, let's see, there, is, there are two different variables we need to mine. For example, if I'm using verify expression, there is a, there is a inbuilt variable, I will call it. The inbuilt variable is result and there is also another inbuilt vari variable for this activity and this activity work, the variable works in the scope of this activity only. Outside of that, you will not be able to fetch it. Now, while using this activity, this result and expression inbuilt variables get created. Now, if I wanted to access them, remember this name result and expression. What I can do, I'll go to my projects panel and click on this settings testing and expand this here let us write something here first use double quote they have written it here okay how to write for example result so within the double quote you have to write so let me write result double quote and use the braces or the curly brackets inside that write result let me copy this to a notepad OK, so this is how it is appearing result. Now, if you simply I'm going to put result in the run value in the debug value, both run value is required during your production for debugging your development purpose. You'd be so I'm putting in both the places. You can choose wherever you need. I'm going to hit on OK. Now, let's see what kind of output is coming. I'm going to verify this is not a leap year and the input that I have given is 2025. So it is a not a leap year. So the verification would happen and the output variable is matching with that. So the verification should pass. If I'm going to run this or debug this. OK. Now what happened instead of that entire output, now the output is coming saying true. It is simply saying true, nothing else. OK, so you have understood the meaning of true. When I'm writing result, what happened? The value that is coming in the output panel. Remember, all of these are coming in output panel. 
So the output panel is saying true. Now what would happen if I am going to write expression? So I am going to write something like this. So these are the inbuilt. Expression is an inbuilt activity within the scope while the activity is running. It gets created and get omitted immediately after that. So it is only for that activity. So if I write expression, what is going to happen? Let me go back to studio projects again to the same place and here instead of result now I am writing expression even here it is they have written it here on the top they have defined expression with the expression with the so this is so when you write expression what happens let's see that so let me run it okay so what happened the output came something like this so when I am writing expression the output appeared something like this. So this is exactly the expression that you have written inside your verification activity. So if I look at here, this is the exact expression what is what is written in the verification activity has appeared. Okay, you have written this exact ex expression has appeared. Now what would happen if I write both of them? For example, if I write expression and I am going to write result within the double quote. So I am writing like this. Copy this. Go back to testing and here I am going to replace with this. Now what would happen? Very simple you already know it. What would happen? It is going to give you the expression and the result. Okay. So now if you look at what is the output? This is how it appeared. Let me copy it for better visibility. So what happened? The expression gave this output. This expression has come and then it has given the output for result which is true. So both the things combined together you got this output. Now let's say I would like to write something in between. Okay. What I will write? Let me write uh, expression has resulted in true. For example, this expression, I want to write something. My own words I can write. So this is called customizing. So now if I put this customized message, copy projects, settings, easy. And you have to apply under the same activity. If you're using a different activity, there you need to apply. Pretty simple. Here I'm using verify expression, so I'm applying it here. Clear? Now hit on OK and run this. Okay. So how the output has come? Look at it. So I have written this, this and then the expression has come. Then I have written my word called resulted in. Then you can see resulted in true. So you can customize. Now what is a drawback with this? Okay, let me before I talk about the drawback, let me also uh, try to write this expression. I'll modify this expression slight a bit. This expression. Instead of this, I will say the let's for example. Okay. Now let me copy this expression. What would happen if I put it in the um, output message format? So here also you can apply in the activity properties. Okay, so I've applied, hit on save. So if there is any kind of error is coming, that means you have made some mistake in the commas and all that. So rewrite it, double code and write it again inside that. Okay, or the spelling mistake, something you might have made a mistake. So now everything is fine if I run this. Now if you are writing in the property panel, which will take effect, this will come or the will come, the will come. Because the property activities will get into action. Okay, so for this, what is the output came? The output. Even though the global setting is applied because you have written something in the property, that's why it has come. Okay. If you don't write anything, then the global property will get applied. So this is understood. Everybody understood this. Now the next thing is what is a drawback? What would go wrong in this? Let me show you what is the drawback happening here. So the drawback is, let me remove this, delete, save and go to the projects panel. If you remove by default as per the design, it is going to show the output.
okay let's click on okay now i have removed all the customized settings now if i run this what is the drawback so the drawback i have noticed look at it now how the output has come copy okay so how the output has come verification passed it has a word called passed okay for example if i fail it let me fail this how will i fail it i'll go to my workflow and in the workflow here i am going to disable this save it so if i disable the output variable will not get any value so so that expression will fail here output is equal to this is not only here so the, there is no output so it will fail so if you if you if i run this look at there is a drawback what is the drawback if you use a customized settings so here when the verification is passed it is saying passed when the verification is failed it is saying failed but when you write a customized message you have, you, know, you have your um, you know custom uh, message like you are saying uh, you know the output equals to so and so or this output resulted in true so you are customizing but what you are missing is this passed or failed right so passed and failed is missing so this is by default how it is designed it is giving you proper output in case you are really want to use your customized message then go ahead and use it otherwise the default way how it is designed that that is quite good right this gives you proper one but again if you want to really do it remember this one the passed and failed which is automatically coming that you cannot customize here i cannot write this is passed if i write this is this is passed if i write my sentence here what would happen for everything even it is failing it will say failed but here the value will become false that's all your text will remain constant the text you are writing the text whatever you have written this remains constant so if you are writing here this is passed or the the, the verification has passed so that remains constant so that is the drawback so you can go with the default one i would recommend however if there is a necessity then go ahead and change it but remember about the drawback now the question is can we really make something about it yes we can do it i wanted to really get this kind of a output inside a variable and customized one it is possible i have to write a simple logic behind that i am going to show you in my next video but right now let me also talk little bit about couple of other things testing okay now here this result is in inbuilt expression is one similar way if you are using verify expression with operator they have given example okay then there is something called le left expression text left expression operator right expression text right expression result so while i am teaching this probably i will try to create a content if you are not able to achieve this these are the variables you can use if i am using a verify control attribute then i can use left expression operator right expression and result like we have used result in expression in this example like that looking at this example you can form your own custom message expression text expression operator lower limit so all these things can be used for each of the different different activities okay so thank you guys for watching i hope this video must have helped you to grab some knowledge if so please do not forget to give it a like give it a like to this video and let's move on to our next content and don't miss out to subscribe to my channel go to my channel home page and click on the subscribe button beside the logo and also you can click on the inverted triangle and click on this notification icons to stay updated